Hi all, if you watched my last video, one of my last videos, which was dyeing some pieces of pallet wood with food colouring, then you may be interested to know that I decided to make a little project for them. So my, my wife really liked the video and the, the colours, what, what we created. So she asked if I could do a piece of wall art for the landing to remove my picture of puppies that I've got up there, which she says is granified. So uh, we won't talk about that at the minute, but yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, so I made some more, all different types of burn and different types of pallet wood that I could find and thickness them all down to the same uh, the same thickness and I've just run through the table saw to get them all the same width and now I'm gonna chop them all down on the miter saw. I've just found the smallest one which was this one. So I'm gonna set a stop, stop block up on the miter saw, chop them all down to the same size and see what design we can come up with. So I got there in the end, so now I'm just going to make a first cut on this first piece which was the smallest one. And if you're putting a stop block on like this guys, just make sure the blade stops before you start to exit the blade out of the cut so you don't get any kickback. Guys, I cut this with the track saw, uh, 22 inches by 22 inches or thereabouts, just a piece of 12 mil uh, pine ply. We've got our little pieces cut, just going to give this a really quick uh, rub down. So I'm just going to find the centre. So it should be... Pencil. <clears throat> About as good as it's going to get. Right. So, 12 inches a foot. Oh no. It's been daft again. It's 20, 22 in it. So that's 11. Man's got quick math skills. Not. Right, there you go. So 22 inches, so that's 11. And then the same again. So we've got the centre and we've divided it into four squares. I'm not quite sure why yet, but I just know that that's going to be helpful. Right, experimentation time. So I'll just play with this for five minutes, guys. Have a little shuffle around, see what I can come up with. If I see anything cool, then I'll get you guys back down to have a look at it and then we'll, we'll start assembling. Flukily, no skill, I've got probably just about the right amount of pieces. So I'm gonna have a look at attaching all this. I'm trying to think of the best way of doing it because I don't want any nails visible, so I don't want to use my brad nailer. So is it just gonna be a case of plenty of wood glue and then put the MDF sheet on top and put some heavy weight on to sandwich it together and then pray I don't get any gaps. All I'm doing now is just cleaning up the edges. There's just a couple of little fluffy bits on the edges, stopping them getting close together. So I'm just pretty boring part of the task. And then I'm just putting them into groups, dark and light, so I can spread them out better when I come to 
See these fluffy bits that they just stop the connection coming together really nicely, so just give them a little rub. So I've just given it all a good brush down, cleaned all the corners up on these of any little snipey bits. Right, uh, so bear with me. It's all experimentation, but I've just had an idea. If I put a solid line through the centre, going diagonally, oh, what we got here? God save our gracious queen. Line the first one up in this triangular affair here. And then follow suit all the way down, keeping to this line. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. If you can't see, that is. I followed that first diagonal line going that way, and then, and then I followed the vertical line here. See how that works out. I think we'll glue up now and then the off cuts, what we take off from the sides should be enough to fill them little gaps. So I'm back, I've started. So what we're gonna do is just add a brain with wood glue. So I don't know where I saw this, I can't remember. Oh shit, bugger. Wood glue, table salt. Glue everything down. It stops it sliding about. But actually what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to put the salty glue on the edges for that. I'm going to use the glue bot because I don't want any gaps. So I've just brought you back in again, guys, just for a bit more of a close up of how I'm doing it. So I'm putting the tiny speed glue towards the bottom end of the timber and putting the salty timber sorry salty glue straight onto the plywood and then just pop in in place got the mallet here just in case it needs a little tap And then wet wipes are great for if you get a bit of glue on some it. Little wet wipe. And there you go. And then continue.
Last piece and look. That's it. So I'm unsure whether I'm going to trim it down with a track saw just to get rid of them or I'm going to bother uh, with all the tiny little off cuts at the end. Actually fill in them little triangles. I'll probably just cut with the track saw I reckon. So I'm going to get some weight on that now and leave it to dry. A couple of things on. anything to move right guys just to leave that now for a while well, at least two hours I suppose. no I'm gonna leave it overnight no rush and then I'll come back to it tomorrow night trim around the edges and start on the uh, the, the frame so we'll, fingers crossed it all dries well I'll put the heating on for a bit to help the glue Fam, how's it going? So it's tomorrow. The last time I saw you was about three seconds ago. Yeah, so it's tomorrow for me anyway. So I just got back from work. It's uh, freezing cold, dark outside. And so we'll look at this baby, how it turned out. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. Looks good. And it's moved next to now there's a couple of tiny little gaps but apart from that it's really nice so the salt trick seems to have worked well so uh the salt and glue trick so now i'm just going to get the track saw and trim all the excess off Then to finish it off, I've got this paint factory matte varnish, spray lacquer. Give it a couple of coats of this. So there's the finished product guys on the wall. Uh, my wife really likes it better than the puppy picture. Uh, so that's a bonus I suppose, I might get some tea tonight. Uh, if you like what I'm uh, doing on the channel guys, please like, subscribe and hit, hit that bell button so you get the notifications when I make a video. And I'll catch you all again soon. Bye!